Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Thelma the Unicorn, which is a new animated film coming your way on Netflix from writer-directors Jared Hess and Lin Wong. And this film focuses on the story of Thelma, this small little pony, played by Brittany Howard, who wants to be a big music star and accidentally gets all this glitter and pink paint thrown on her and she becomes a unicorn and uses that to get fame and fortune while her two friends, Will Forte's Otis and John Hader's Reggie, are trying to like keep her grounded throughout this process. But she's whisked away by this big sleazy music man uh, played by Jemaine Clement. And this film, first off, the music in this are bangers. There's some really great songs that they have for this film, and I was really impressed by how catchy and how engaging and well-crafted a lot of the music is. There's even some moments where there's some, like, silly songs that are, like, obnoxiously catchy, and you're just like, wow, that actually feels like something ridiculously catchy and kind of weightless that you would find in popular music today. It's one of those kinds of films that really rides high on the music. The animation, I think, is solid for what it's trying to do. It's not overly complicated, but some of the characters, like, there's grotesque characters. Jemaine Clement's character is gross. I do think, narratively, this film is trying to do too much and too familiar. There, You've seen this idea of, like, hey, this young musician whisked off and corrupted by um, record label people, and yeah, you've seen that before. Maybe not a kid's movie like this, but, you know, you've seen it before. And it's very convoluted. There's a lot of elements that feel like they're tacked on. Like, there's this whole subplot with this famous Nikki Narwhal character who's this big-time pop star, and she's not happy. But her incorporation does bring in, like, the interesting idea of, like, hey, women hurting other women because the patriarchy. Like, it's a man who's been, ch like, ch really churning this tension, Jemaine Clemens' character, but she's acting out against Thelma, our main character, like it's her fault. And those are interesting ideas, and there's some fun action sequences towards the end of the film, but, like, I don't know how much it really adds to the story except making it muddier. This film dives into, you know, the corruption of fame and those kinds of themes and, like, you're leaving your friend behind, and he's a fun donkey who, you know, has sideburns and makes this strange, like, western version of Dungeons and Dragons. And this film has a lot of fun nostalgia and Easter eggs when it comes to music. Some of the outfits they're wearing are very iconic, like, late 90s, early 2000s references to, like, JT and Britney and 98 Degrees. This film has some surprisingly really funny moments, and some of its jokes hit way harder than they should. Um, and, you know, I think that you, with the center, Brittany Howard plays a really great character. Thelma, Forte and Hader are a lot of fun. Jemaine Clement's really committed to the bit, and even Zach Galifianakis has this reoccurring role that keeps popping up throughout the film, and they're all a lot of fun. This film's a lot of fun. It has good energy, it's well paced. It might have a familiar story, it might be a little over convoluted, but the music is killer and it really helps nail this oh, film home and really grab your attention. This is a sweet, sweet little film that I think is really worth checking out with the whole family. I think adults will like it, the kids will like it, and you'll all have a blast listening to music and watching this fun little whores, live out her dream of being a unicorn and a big-time music star. But those are my thoughts on Thelma the Unicorn. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.